EIGRP stands for Enhanced Interior Gateway Routing Protocol. And if you can't tell already by the name, it is an interior gateway protocol, which means we would only expect to see this type of routing protocol used in a single autonomous system. This is one that is based on an earlier protocol that was called IGRP. So this is the enhanced version of that. It's a very generic name, but it is a protocol that works very specifically. And we'll talk a little bit about that. This is a proprietary Cisco routing protocol. You do not generally see EIGRP implemented in other router manufacturer's devices, you will generally only see this on Cisco networks. It also obviously would not interoperate with other protocols as well because it is something that Cisco wrote exclusively for themselves to use. EIGRP uses a number of metrics, and you can look at the total delay, minimum bandwidth, reliability, load, and even the minimum path MTU to make some routing determinations using the EIGRP protocol. We often call EIGRP a hybrid routing protocol. It not only looks at whether a link is up or down, which would be a link state protocol, but it also takes into consideration other metrics, for instance, how much bandwidth or how far away a particular link is, which gives us a few different types of distance vector characteristics as well. EIGRP also supports more than just IP. I can run IPX and Apple Talk over EIG. RP as well, which makes it very, very flexible. It's a type of protocol you can use in many, many different kinds of situations. This is one that also very cleanly manages whenever a topology changes. And obviously, convergence is one of the major concerns whenever we're using and deciding on a particular routing protocol. Also built into EIGRP is a way to avoid loops. So it's another advantage of running because you can feel relatively certain that EIGRP will make sure that we don't accidentally set up any loops between different networks. And it uses this algorithm called a diffusing update algorithm. You'll see it abbreviated as dual to decide which direction it should go if it, it does indeed have a choice of where it could send traffic. EIGRP is also designed to be very efficient in the way that it uses bandwidth. The mechanism for discovering other types of routers on the network is done very cleanly. And it uses something called the Reliable Transport Protocol, or RTP, to communicate between those routers. That RTP protocol is also proprietary to Cisco. But the combination of those things together really makes EIGRP not only very flexible to use, but also very efficient to use on the network.